In this video I'm going to try to simulate a overload. I'm going to use a um, the 18K, which is over here, as my load. And then i um, going to have another load on the 18K pulling from the XP's. So in theory I should be able to hit like, well I'll hit over 12,000. Um, but then we'll just count the time to see how it responds or how long it takes. I believe it's five minutes for an automatic reset. Um, so I'll move the clock over so we can see that. Oh yeah, one more thing. Sorry about the noise. Um, we're going to be running full load on these and pulling 50% um, load on this for DC charging. So expect it to get loud. Here's our clock. It'll drop down like 42 or something, but it never drops below because there's a a tick or a click or a hum inside that it's picking up the noise from. Temperature, humidity, time, and decimal reading. And like I said, here's our uh, our victims. And over here is going to be our load. And then I'm going to pull another 8,000 pound or 8,000 watts from another load. Start of our first load. I'm creeping up on 12k. We're sitting at 93, and then 92 on the two legs. So I'm going to increase this some more. Alright, we're sitting at 101 and a 100. So let's just go. Let's bump this up another. I need 10% over before the switch. Let's see here. What's 10%? 612s, so I need another 1k. Let's bring this thing up to 8. Alright, we're sitting at 109, 110, shit shut off, oh, there it goes. These two went in overload at 1118. We'll take a pause and we'll come back. All right, I did time lapse. It's uh, they both kicked on about four, five minutes after they shut off. So they automatically both reboot, rebooted, restarted, cleared the fault, whatever you want to call it, and kicked back on. So one of the things I think realizes, if you have a compressor, like an air conditioning compressor, a refrigerator, a freezer, anything with like a compressor that compresses a liquid or gas or whatever they need a cooldown time in order to start back up without damaging the system so if if five minutes is an issue for you um, just run it with a grid connection so if it overloads it'll go into grid bypass so in my house my air conditioning compressor is from like 2000 early 2000s and if it shuts off and the power comes back on the compressor just kicks right back on it doesn't have a time delay in it. So in a power outage, it's beneficial, well, for one, if it tries to kick back on when it's under pressure, it's going to a huge surge. So keep that in mind. You kind of want to delay. Um, but if you have a, a setup where you constantly overload these units, just have a, a grid connection so it can bypass. Because when it overloads in a grid bypass, or with grid connected, it'll simply just go to the grid. And after the load drops below 90%, it'll switch back to inverter. But yes, it has an automatic reset if you overload the inverters.